Hi FlossTube, it's Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher. Um, I just really wanted to say hello to you guys. Just kind of needed to check in. Missed you. Um, been really tweaking out on my family history stuff. And uh, so, yeah, just kind of been in my own zone there. But um, been doing some stitching and trying to get to more. Um, and Tosi will join me in a little bit to show off his Luigi Mario Nintendo etc piece by Choco Coco Stitch. Um, I, I see him wandering around. Let me, hold on a second. Okay, so here's my piece and I've been playing this a little bit differently. Before I did the outlines and then the like filling in so this time i'm planning to do all the outlines then filling in kind of looks like an among us character not gonna lie play closer all right thanks <laughs> i can see it so you can see to a uh, comparison to mario you want to uh, get the pattern, like the, uh, yeah. So, you see Luigi's a little bit uh, thinner than Mario. And, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, fun. Anyways, that's, uh, that's it. And I'll let you, let you uh, continue on with your floss tube. Alrighty, so that was delightful. Um, okay, so I'll show you uh, my whips. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll talk to you about Whipgo really fast. I think I forgot to actually show Whipgo last time because last month, or this month, May, fail, total fail. Um, <laughs> so I put the X's on the stuff I didn't really do at all. Um, so under the mistletoe, Sal with um, Evergreen Stitcher, I did not work on that. Um, and that was number eight. And then um, the Little Mermaid Disney Kincaid piece, I did not work on that was 14. And then Stitcher's Burst, I could have totally finished it, but I didn't, I didn't even work on it. So, anyway, the so last, or May fail. Um, <laughs> but the numbers called for June are 16 and 9. Um, and my 16 is Dance, Dance, Dance by Mama Witch Cross Stitch. And my 9 is The Princess and the Pea by Veronique Engineer. And, oh my gosh, like, I should work on should work on especially the princess and the pea i do love dance and stance i'm just not quite in the halloween mood yet um and i'm i'm doing my own thing i like <laughs> i am trying to follow along with whip go but um sometimes i'm just not feeling it plus i really wanted to get somewhere on my oh my gosh i have to go get it my lunch of love um my soda stitch i forgot okay i'll be back okay i'm back so um, I had wanted to work on Lunch of Love, um, just basically to just get somewhere on that. Um, and that was, <laughs> I'm wondering like where it was on my, that was seven from April. Like I hadn't gotten enough done on it. And so I was like feeling pretty jonesed out that I didn't work on it, uh, very much in April. So I tried to get some done on it and I did, um, since the last time we spoke. So there it is in all its glory. I love, I love when I have a face on there. Um, the little girl with her doll, she's trying to feed it a, a flower with her spoon. <laughs> and uh, it was so cute, I love it. Um, like the adjective said, that the doll was not looking very thrilled yet. <laughs> Just not looking thrilled getting fed a flower so yeah and guys when you're doing floss tube like please don't be shy with putting your 
your pieces right up to the camera, please. Cause I'm, I love seeing up close, all those, the texture, all the stitching. It's just beautiful. This is our craft. And I think all of us <laughs> have a similar love for that texture and all the color and the gradients and all that stuff. So don't, don't be shy. And I, I'm, I'm going to just shove it up in the camera too. Cause that's what I prefer. So, <laughs> um, I hope there's nobody who like people who aren't like upset with that. <laughs> like it's too much in the face, but my, um, my Instagram, like I do zoom in quite a bit on those, but anyways, this is what lunch of love is supposed to look like. And the fabric that I'm, I was using there, um, is uh hand dyed by Rolanda, I'm sure you guys know. And it's even weave, probably Lugana, um 28 count. And I'm doing uh three over two. So three strands of floss over two weaves. So there you have it. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And oh my goodness, and my uh my friend um this I think it's like CS stitcher or something like that. Um, Annie or Anne, she made that grind guard for me, that adorable cat grind guard. So anyways, lunch of love. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. What do you guys think? Should I, should I do, um, should I do a, I have almost 300, you know, uh, soda stitch, um, charts and I, you, I've never shown you guys all of them, the, the magnificence of the volume of those. So, um, what do you guys think? Should I just do one, one floss tube? I think the time has come. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of, um, stitching to show right now. Um, but the time I think maybe has come where I just show you like, maybe I'll do it in two different videos. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just do like a full video of just all 300, um, uh, charts. So, yeah, so to stitch, uh, you know, there's some words like I really uh, like that are, I can't use, <laughs> that I want to use. Um, but yes, it'll be like a, a plethora of so to stitch charts. Yeah, that. Um, okay. So, <laughs> uh, started with a no, let's just put it like that. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Oh, oh, and the soda stitch, I, the lunch of love, I am doing a sal with Mary D. Dream Stitcher. Uh, lovely, lovely, sweet, talented, awesome Mary D. Dream Stitcher, um, who called me queen of soda stitch, I think, recently, and I was just like, <gasps> like, I just, I don't, I guess I just, like, don't really think of myself as much, so when I hear people, like, dub me, stuff like that, I'm just like, <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay. And then, um, Erin, stay at home stitcher and I are doing a, um, uh, doing a, um, uh, the temperature quilt stitch by apricot polka dot on Etsy. And here is where I'm at right now. Oh, look at that. The glory, the glory of the patchwork temperature stitch. It is heavenly. I love it so much. And then we had one 75 degree day here where I live in, you know, Eastern, sort of Northeastern Utah. But look at that. What, what do you think the 75 degree day was out of all these? What do you think? Where do you think it is? <laughs> oh, I wonder, I wonder which one it is. I love it. I did that and I was just like, oh, like it just, it's a little sunspot, a sunspot. So, and then this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. So I'm almost, I couldn't believe this. Like I had a wake up call when I, when I was looking at this temperature stitch, when I was catching up on a couple weeks, I'm like my, my temperature stitch is, is almost half done. That means the year is almost half done. How did we get here? People, how did we get here? So anyways, um, so that's it on that. And Erin is keeping up and she has a totally different, uh, color scheme that I do. She's like not a fan of like hot pink or anything like that. 
that's like maybe a little too bright or something and uh, obnoxious I think she called it <laughs> so um so yeah but I'm I, I just thought you know it's my first time doing a temperature stitch so I just want to like do the standard and then you know if I decide other years that I'll do um more temperature stitches then I'll um you know like I'll, I'll change it up you know if I, if I want if I'm brave enough so um yeah so that was where I'm at on my temperature stitch um and Stitchy Santa Sunday, Mill Hill Santas. I just worked out <laughs> my, my, I'm like, I'm, my skin is like, I don't know, like, I, I guess maybe I've become like one of those kind of spoiled people like through the years. Cause I used to love like working out and, you know, getting sweaty was great and it just like felt awesome. And nowadays I'm like, but if I get sweaty, that means that my, I'm going to, you know, like, I'm not going to be as dry when I sit down to stitch or, you know, like just kind of like just come too comfortable or something. <laughs> anyway, so right now I'm like, I feel like my face is redder and stuff. And, but anyway, so I, uh, but the good endorphins, that's, that, that matters people and getting circulation going and, you know, whatever, like blood flow. Um, okay. So there is my stitchy Santa, my Mill Hill Santa, my boat swain or boat swin Santa, um, by Mill Hill, and oh my gosh, he has dignity, he has pants, look how sparkly, look at that, I love those sparkly pants, I, I mean, I love all the sparkle, look at that, okay, and so this is, this is what he's supposed to look like, the seafaring Santa, boat, boat swim Santa, guys, I almost like, he's, he's kind of hot, I don't know, like, I don't really find cross-stitch people hot, or cartoons, or anything like that, but he like looks pretty cool, like with Jack, with no beard. Okay, I'm just gonna say it with no beard. That kind of makes him like maybe he's like a young Santa. What do you think? Can I leave the beard off? Is that okay? Like, I don't know. I'm I'm preferring young white haired Santa. I don't know. That maybe that's just nuts. That's like crazy. I I don't know. You guys. I, I need opinions. I like I like you guys to tell me your opinions, especially if I'm like asking. Like I really do want to know. Don't be shy. Um, okay, and then my other one that I'm working on is um what do you think? What do you think it is? If you guys follow me on Instagram, maybe you've been waiting for this moment. So it is <gasps> Rainbow Bright, the color the world would love. Oh, I love it so much. Look at her. It just looks like, I mean, with how these go and they're all just like kind of those block colors like that, it, I mean, it just looks like a blob. Like her hair is so funny. Oh my gosh. But once you, once you actually like do the back stitch, it's going to look really, really pretty or just, you know, cute. It's really cute. Um, but I love it. So I'm doing this on 18 count um regency mills ivory i'm sorry i'm shaking there we go but it is a really quick stitch it's very beautiful um i love it and uh hopefully i'll get done with this soon i think it was what's her name laura and i mean when i say what's her name like what's her handle on on twi um, twitter um Instagram. Okay. Laura Whatacracka, something like that. Uh, NZ. Like, she has some underscores in there. But she, I think she was the one who was saying, like, I would love to get to that rainbow. And that is exactly what I am stitching toward. So, at the side, there's like a, I didn't, it's like a rusty, because they're so old, the, you know, the vintage, that the staples are rusted in the middle. And this is where the picture, the example picture was, was yeah, so there's, that's what that is. Um, so it's a copy of it. Um, look at that rainbow. I cannot wait to get to that. And the tail, holy moly, that starlight's tail. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna have to sneeze, guys. Oh, I have allergies and the count, pollen count is very high. Okay, definitely sneezed. Uh, okay, so that was it for 
my whips or like crafty rogue gamer would say whips <laughs> i watched her videos like a few of them like a long time ago when i first I got introduced to the coven and um started my own floss tube and whatnot and it was so funny when she's like whoops like i've never been able to get that out of my head anyways so here's my i just wanted to show i'm using the um oh i shouldn't show my chart the horror okay um so um i wanted to show that i'm using my my project bag that um i think mom mom stitcher amber uh she <laughs> she made for for toasty but I'm using it for rainbow right because it was the perfect one because it's so rainbow full is that a word rainbow full no okay anyways um so I my my neighbors are like having a party outside or something there's a lot of music going on but anyways speaking of amber and look I put I'm displaying her her Dumbo pillow again. I think I think I displayed it before. I love it so much. And then her little little German uh, German gnome with uh, his pretzel. Um, a lot of my family history stuff has been German, so I'm kind of in that like mood. Like, yeah, cool. Um, okay, so sorry, I'm like a little hyped up. Um, <laughs> uh, there's uh, something something I wanted to tell you guys, and now I'm. Like, I think I kind of forgot. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, with the, with Stitchy Santa Sunday, with that sal, you guys, please like join in, get your mental health Santa, like join, join us. Like the, um, I think it's, let's see. So it's So Glover Creations, um, Stitchy Cat Lady, 26 Joe, um, a so, so Glover Creations, Stephanie. And then, um, I think Morty is mad. Morty, are you still doing, um, your, your stitchy Santa, uh, Sunday, your Mill Hill Santa, or did you finish it? Or did you like blow, blow everybody out of the water? I don't know. Um, and uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. I need to get started on my under the toe. Uh, or under the toe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so under the mistletoe sal um, by uh, Burn. I think it's Burnett. Hold on a second, I'll get it. Okay, so I have to show you guys because I need to pledge to you that I work on this. <laughs> so I need some accountability. Okay, so here is what it's supposed to look like, and I am trying to get this done before before Christmas. Um, it's for, what do you call it? Like my nephew's wife. I don't know. Should she my niece? She could be my niece if she wanted to be my niece. I'll make her my niece. Or she's just my nephew's wife. I'm not sure. But anyways, I want her to have a matching one because he has one. And then their son has one, the one I did last year that said Ernie, baby Ernie. Um, so... I ha I'm doing, I switched out the 14 count Ada, um, just like regular white Ada that came in the kit. It was kind of crappy anyways, but um, I switched out for like an opalescent white 14 count Ada. So I've only gotten the name or the M for the name done. Um, yeah, it's really pathetic. <laughs> so I need to do it. So... I need to start now so I don't, I mean, this is pretty simple. I mean, it's like a pretty simple quick stitch. Shouldn't be that intimidating or anything. But my problem is I have a really hard time uh, switching up a lot because, like, that's, like, cross-stitching is, like, for me, it's my wind-down. It's not something that I use to, like, get, like, make more chaos <laughs> in my life. I love this bag that comes with it or that I use with it. Um, that, uh, I can't remember, Grandma something, she made these couple for me last year. I'm using another one on my Lunch of Love. So, um, so yeah, I need to get started on that, and, um, yeah, and I, so I have a question, like, who's going to Stitch North next year? Um, Darcy and, um, I think maybe... Uh, Chris Cross Stitch and Mary Daydream Stitcher, she's trying to go and I signed up to go pretty much right when they like opened the whole thing to 
to everybody to go. Um, I signed up and, you know, like hopefully I can go with Mary and, um, or meet up with her or something. And we're, we're pretty different parts of, in the pretty, pretty different parts of the United States. But, um, anyway, so I think, I think this is going to be a short one today. Um, don't, like I said, don't really have a lot to show. Don't really have, like, I don't have any haul still. Like <laughs> I can start getting haul again in another two weeks. So yeah. And, um, yeah, so been loving watching. Oh, I've been uh, catching up. I caught up with all of Total Stitch Show's uh, floss tubes, so that was really cool. I caught up with um, all of Nightmare Before Stitchmas, um, so that that was um, that's Maxine, and then um, Total Stitch St Show is Steph, and another Steph, um, and um, let's see. Still haven't caught up with all of Darcy and. Uh, Stitch My Darcy and um, Chris Cross Stitch. I'm, I'm, there's still those like six right in the middle but I, for both of them that I haven't caught up with. But um, And then Mary, I, I don't, I, I might have caught up with all of hers. I don't remember. Anyways, oh, and then I was going to say like um, with my physical therapy and um, why it took me, um, like basically why like I haven't really been like, um, you know, doing my regular like exercise and cardio is because, because, um, what I have to do cardio, like that's low impact, doesn't like hurt my joints and stuff is, um, so my, this is my life update guys. Whew, sorry. Um, so, um, I, uh, I, I have a, a tread climber and, um, so like it's the low impact for me and, um, and, but I get a good sweat and everything and, <laughs> Like when I went to the physical therapist, he's like, well, you just need to take like two long walks a day. And I'm like, long walks? Like, <laughs> that sounds really boring. I'm sorry to say that. But like, I just like to get my sweat and then just like be done with it. You know, two long walks a day sounds like my entire day. Um, so, um, but he's talking about like getting like the lubrication in your spine and stuff so that, you know, I don't know, like when you're doing your exercises, it's like more beneficial and stuff. And yeah, anyway, so that, so I did not do my two long walks a day, but he was saying the tread climber could be like bad because, you know, like with people with cardio machines, they kind of like tend to like hold on to the, you know, to like, sorry, like the handles and then, um, you know, like they, so my issue was like with my shoulders and you know so he's kind of like you're gonna you might like make it worse by or just keep you know not get too much better if you um yeah like do your tread climber and then try to do the physical therapy along with that so I stopped doing the tread climber but then I you know for like a, a month or so and that was really hard so now I'm like starting to exercise again like actually get like you know cardio up and stuff. So anyways, um, I don't know, like that's just, like that's really important to me. And so I was like, not feeling super great. Like, but I, my neck and my shoulders are feeling better, <laughs> you know? So anyway, um, so I will, I will see you guys again. I hope everybody's having a great week and that you get a lot of stitching done and sorry, it's been three weeks instead of two. Um, has it been almost four? I don't know. And, oh, and congratulations to Danielle, uh, G, not Danielle S. Um, she, she she told me when I I commented to her um, on one of her comments on uh, YouTube because I didn't put it together that she was. I'm like I think it's like Danny Cross Stitch on Instagram also like she and I have communicated more there. Um, the one who won my contest of the over 500 subscribers. So <laughs> I I was like you should really watch my last boss too because I assume she didn't hear that she had won. And she got back to me like, oh no, I heard that it, I heard Danielle, but then I heard you say, um, S. And so I figured it wasn't me. And guess what? I make stupid, I, this is not her, I make stupid mistakes. I told her, I was like, I, I'm always like forgetting stuff. And like, even with my care, I, I showed, um, on a couple videos ago, I showed, um, my Care Bear Cousins, like, um, bookmark that I did. I mean, and I say stuff like, my three tone A, and, and then I look at the video or I look back at the bookmark and I'm like, oh, three, is that three tone? And then it's like four, four colors. Like I do stuff like that all the time and I don't bother to tell you guys because I figure 
you know, it doesn't really matter that much. And if you don't care that much, like, I don't really care. Like, I just have to, like, move on with my life. <laughs> you know, just keep going forward. Anyways, so I love you guys. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week, wonderful month. Uh, hopefully it'll just be another, just two, week, two weeks till I talk to you again on here. And I'll see you on Instagram, I'm sure, if you're on Instagram. Um... You know, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments, for your enthusiasm, for your, uh, the synergy, the encouragement. Um, hope that you, uh, yeah, just hope that you're happy, healthy, uh, staying, staying well, and, um, yeah, that you're finding your, your joy. Um, so we'll talk to you guys later. Happy stitching.